Okay guys, your Wi-Fi, Android, authentication problem. How do you fix those authentic authentication problem? So there are few steps. Give a look. So for the authentication problem, very first thing that you're gonna try, uh, you'll be getting this because of uh, unstable connection. Maybe sometime your device is uh, restricted uh, your internet is restricted uh, only the limited number of users can use the internet but you might be connecting to the number of device and you will be getting the authentication problem so what are you guys gonna do you will see the flight mode or the airplane mode in your phone just uh, put it in a flight mode or airplane mode again turn it off and then again try to connect so once it is turned on you have to turn it off and then you try to connect to your Wi-Fi network now. There are several other reasons why you'll be getting this authentication problem. A few more things that you can try. Okay guys, you're gonna open the Wi-Fi settings. You're gonna go to setting and you're gonna open the Wi-Fi network setting. The easy way is on the top you have a Wi-Fi network symbol. Tap it for a long and you're gonna see this space. So select your Wi-Fi network, tap it for a few seconds and you're gonna see this option. Click on Manage Network Setting. Now on the top you can see 192.168.100. So you can note down first three value 192.168.1. So you may be uh, 10 instead of 1. Your third value may be 100 or something else. So you're going to note down first three value. So mine is 192.168.1. Change the DHCP to a statistic. Now you can see, you're going to enter over here IP address 192.168.1. Three values should be as it is. Third value you can change. Third value you can change from 100 to 101, 102, 103, 104. If it is 10, you can change it to 11, 12, 13, 14. If it is uh, something like 18, 19, 20, or 30, you can change it to 31, 32, 33. Just make a little bit changes. Now come down. Your gateway should be 192.168.1.1. So leave it as it is, your gateway. So the gateway should be like, a, you can say first three value, 192.168. Dot. So your gateway might be like 100.1 or 200, sorry guys, it should it might be 200.1 or it might be, your gateway might be like 10.1. So the first three value do not change. The last value should be 1 for gateway. So never change first three value. Now the DNS, you just have to delete it and you can see it is given here. You can put 8.8.8.8. Now DNS2, you can see, leave it as it is or you can just put as it is 8.8.4.4. Okay, now everything is fine. Click on save. Now you can see it's connecting. Connected. Now try to browse your internet. Make sure it is working. If it do not work, tap it again for a few seconds. Click on manage network setting. So this time, so you'll just make a slight uh, changes in the IP address. So DNS address, uh, you just make a little bit changes. So try to put in a DNS address one. So remove DNS address 2, it should be empty. In DNS address 1, we had 8.8.8.8. So 4 value, all over 8.8.8.8. Change it to 192, 168 and 1.1. So we'll put the DNS one as 192.168.1.1. And then click on save. So this will also connect your network. Now try to browse the internet and see if it is working. Okay guys, so you're going to find setting in your phone and open the setting. Inside setting, somewhere you're going to find backup and reset. Different phone has a different arrangement. Even you can search over here at the, on the top on the search. You can make a search for backup and reset or you can just make a search for network setting, reset and all this. So in my phone, here I have inside additional setting. So in some phone you'll find it on the top itself. Here I have a backup and reset. So when you open the backup and reset, 
you're gonna see at the bottom here I have a network setting reset when I click on that here you have an option for the network setting reset this will reset all your network setting including Wi-Fi mobile data and Bluetooth so before you continue different phone has a different arrangement so read it before you continue so it will reset all your password and everything so just below the page at the bottom here you have a reset setting click on that it can ask you to enter the pattern now it can ask you whether you want to reset so click on ok after reading it now you can see network setting has been reset and when you go to the Wi-Fi it can ask you for the password again so re-enter the password try to connect and then check it out ok so you're gonna open the setting in your phone and then so somewhere so different phone has a different arrangement so somewhere you're gonna check for updates in my phone it's a about device and here it is on the top itself software update in some phone in the setting page itself in the on the top you'll find a system update and all of this stuff so somewhere you're gonna find update or you can search manually on the search in setting now click on update now it will check for updates and install all necessary updates Sometime updating a system will fix your lots of problem. The last update has already been installed. So if any update is available, just update it. It will definitely fix lots of your problem. So update your phone and check it out. Okay guys, you can see over here, it's uh, settings. You have to open the setting page and somewhere it's gonna say the application. Different phone has a different arrangement. So somewhere you're gonna access a list of application. So, try to access a list of application so when you access the list of application somewhere you're going to find setting so here's some application manager so check somewhere settings okay so, okay here on the so I didn't find settings over here so somewhere try to access a different folder somewhere it might find uh, settings there are these many folders so here you can see it's all in the list of all application somewhere wants to be settings it is arranged in alphabetical order so go to letter yes where is yes here is the settings when you click on settings Uh, you can get access to the setting page try to clear the case and somewhere you'll find our stories so you can just uh, clear the case clear the data so read it before you do it because your application data will be permanently deleted this includes all the file settings that you have done, database and everything. So before you do it, you can read it. Once you have done it, I can go back to same application and you are gonna access it. So try to access a list of applications. Okay, not in the default application. Is the application manager? Again, go to settings. It's settings, and then now you'll just uh, you have already cleared the case and cleared the data. Now you'll force to stop it. So what you guys gonna do, just force stop it, click on OK, done with the force stop. Now what you gonna do, just restart your device. Now you're gonna check it out, see if this method is working.